Ever wonder why the top 3D professionals always seem one step ahead? It's probably because they subscribe to the 3D News newsletter, and here's that newsletter in video form, so let's dive in. First up, we have some groundbreaking news for 3DS Max users. TieFlow has introduced the Tie Diffusion module, bringing stable diffusion directly into 3DS Max. This means you can now use generative AI within the viewport with just a one-click installation of Comfy UI. This is a huge leap forward, opening up new creative workflows and making the process of using AI alongside 3D more efficient and accessible for 3D artists. Check out the release video linked in the description. Next, let's talk about a unique job opportunity. Mr. Beast is hiring a 3D designer to create realistic assets and enhance thumbnails. This role involves collaborating with the creative team and requires skills in modeling, texturing, shading, lighting, and rendering. This shows the professionalization of YouTube content creation and the increased demand for specialized 3D skills in wider industries. Interested? Visit the job posting linked below. Transform your static images into dynamic videos with my new Skillshare class on Luma Dream Machine. I'll take you through everything from the basics to advanced techniques like setting start and end frames, extending videos, and downloading your creations. In today's digital age, video content is crucial for engaging audiences, and Dream Machine gives you a competitive edge by allowing you to create professional quality videos without having to render every frame. Watch the class for free on Skillshare through the link in the description. Stability AI has just unveiled stable fast 3D, an AI model capable of generating 3D assets from a single image in just 0.5 seconds. It creates complete 3D assets, including a UV unwrapped mesh and material. This version slashes generation time from 10 minutes to 0.5 seconds. The speed and the quality of this model are groundbreaking, making it one of the best on the market. You can read more on Stability AI's official site linked below. This month I also launched another class on Skillshare focused on AI powered image transformation. It delves into techniques like upscaling, relighting and style transfer. As AI continues to revolutionize everything, staying up to date with the latest techniques is crucial and this class will keep you on the cutting edge. It's free on Skillshare for Skillshare members and if you're not a member yet, you can get one month free through the link in the description. IKEA has always been a leader in 3D visualization, and in this 30 minute presentation, Martin Enfad takes us through IKEA's journey in leveraging 3D visualization and spatial computing. This talk, presented at AWE, explores IKEA's early adoption of 3D modeling, the challenges they faced, and their vision for the future. You can watch the full presentation, link below, to see how IKEA transformed the retail experience with 3D technology. Chaos has unveiled its latest innovation, the Chaos AI Enhancer. This tool allows you to enhance the quality of your visualizations specifically for people and vegetation assets within Enscape. Having an AI enhancer built into your 3D tool is a massive plus, eliminating the need for multiple export and import steps. You can read more on Enscape's blog. Adobe has announced the release of Substance 3D Designer 14, packed with quality of life improvements and new nodes for enhanced color manipulation and artistic effects. Key improvements include faster node removal, reduced graph cooking times, and smoother node movement, making this tool more powerful and user-friendly. You can watch the video linked below to learn more about these updates. Oidesk has launched the 3DS Max 2025.2 update, including several new tools and enhancements that will significantly improve your 3D modeling and animation workflows. Some key features include SVG file support, new data channel, modifier presets, USD for 3DS Max 0.8, flow retypology, and updates to Arnold. Read more about the new features on Oidesk's official site. Maxon have unveiled Maxon 1 2024.5, bringing significant updates across its suite of creative tools. Key highlights include enhanced performance in Cinema 4D, new features in Red Giant, and improvements in the render engine Redshift. These updates enrich several products in the Maxon 1 suite, making it more powerful for creating motion graphics, visual effects, and product imagery. You can check out the new features on Maxon's website. Is this the best edge distress workflow? I think so. In this new tutorial, I demonstrate a technique for creating realistic edge distress in 3ds Max using the V-Ray curvature map. You'll learn how to achieve a worn, weathered look on 3D models by leveraging mix maps, blend materials, and curvature detection. Mastering edge distress techniques in 3D is crucial for artists aiming to produce high quality, lifelike textures. You can watch the full tutorial on YouTube. 
Joker Martini has launched Bulk Editor, a powerful new tool for 3ds Max. It enables users to edit multiple objects, materials, controllers, and modifiers simultaneously. This simplifies the process of managing large projects and maintaining consistency across assets, saving time and reducing errors. You can find out more on Joker Martini's website. Adobe Illustrator has unveiled a new feature, Gen Shape Fill. This tool allows you to create a basic shape and Illustrator fills in all the details, similar to Gen Fill in Photoshop, but this creates vectors. And the tool includes shape strength and detail parameters for more control. This boosts creativity and productivity by quickly finding the perfect fill for your designs. You can see it in action through the link below. Manu's modifier Gizmo Align script for 3ds Max brings precision to your 3D modeling workflow. It allows users to align the gizmos of modifiers with the geometry or pivot of selected objects, ensuring accurate transformation and adjustments. This tool saves time and improves the precision of your models. Check out Manu's website to find out more. Ever wonder how you can make yachts look like they belong in the water? I've got a tutorial that covers the entire process from camera matching to post-production. The skill is great for integrating 3D models into photography and is applicable to anything from products to cars and you can watch it on my YouTube channel. Coca-Cola in collaboration with WPP and Nvidia Omniverse is leveraging generative AI to enhance its global marketing campaigns. This partnership allows Coca-Cola to produce hyper-local, culturally relevant content at scale. This initiative demonstrates the power of AI in creating tailored marketing content that resonates with a diverse audience. You can read the full article on Nvidia's blog. Finally, let's take a look at what's new in Chaos Vantage 2 Update 5. This update brings VR support via OpenXR, animated vegetation and procedural wind, support for rounded edges and partial visibility for animated objects. These additions enhance performance, UX and UI and you can watch the full overview on Chaos's YouTube channel. So that's all for the 3D news. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter to get this 3D news delivered to your inbox every single week.